blood yes. for you so that you can be free and prosperous mm -hmm. in every area of your life. Hallelujah. Can I get with this? Yeah, one more time. Okay. Jesus paid a high price mm. with his blood for you so that you can be free and prosperous mm. Amen. in every area of your life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You got it? Yeah, we good. All right, come on, Holy Ghost. We're getting free today in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, one thing that you have to know, which the Lord taught me several years ago, is a slave who loves their chains can never be free. I'll write that down. A slave who loves their chains can never be free. If you love your chains, if you love your darkness, you will never be free. You gotta hate every chain that binds you. Can I get a witness? Amen. A slave who loves their chains can never be free. You gotta hate them chains that bind you. Yes. Okay? That's good. That's good, a slave who loves their chains can never be free. Amen. And the Lord asked me one day, he said, Angel, how do you slay a giant? And I said, uh, I don't know, Lord. How do you slay a giant? And he said, one at a time. All right? All right. Write that down. <laughs> how do you slay a giant? One at a time. Come on, Holy Ghost. All right? So every, every giant in your life, check this out. David... When he slew Goliath, he had five stones. The other four stones were for his brothers. Okay? God, he only slew uh, Goliath, but he was ready, well equipped for the other ones. Come on. All right? That, thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm glad I got that because I never heard that before. Woo! All right. So, you slay your giants one at a time. There was five giants at the time. And there was five stones. So by faith he knew that if the Lord orchestrated it, everyone was coming down. Right. Amen. 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 I don't call, I come in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Can I get a witness? All right. You have to hate the chains that bind you Amen. to obtain and maintain your deliverances. Okay? You have to hate every chain that binds you to obtain and maintain your deliverances and you slay your giants one at a time do not be discouraged if it takes if the process of deliverance seems like it's taken a long time mm -hmm. it took you many years to get here yes. be patient with yourself yes. God is patient with Amen. you Amen. and at his appointed time you will get your freedom Amen. if you just keep pressing on. Amen. You do not quit the race. Yes. Do not quit the race. Do not have a spiritual abortion. Right. You are Amen. warriors and Amen. God loves you. And you are victorious. Amen? Amen? Can you identify your bondages? Where? What are your strongholds? This is how you start to get free. Can you identify your bondages? What are your strongholds? Because if you don't know, how are you going to get free? Right. right. I don't know. I can look at you. Y'all all look on fire to me. Everybody here looks on fire like nobody has any issue. Huh. Everybody's in the house of God right now. Amen. Everybody's praising the Lord. Amen. But only you know when you right. look inside the mirror. I'll never forget Amen. the day the Lord brought me to the mirror and I looked inside my soul and I said who are you? God if there's anything in there you know help and that started that started me so I encourage you to go to the mirror and look at yourself to face the truth search me, search me oh God and know me See if there be any wicked way in me. Expose it, Lord. Expose these strong men and strongholds that I might be free, God. 
So we got till 10.30, right, Mom? Whatever you want to go. Uh, keep rolling. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't know if they had to go to work and stuff. No, All right. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Where, when, what, and how do you give place to the devil? Where, when, what, and how do you give place to the devil? Ephesians 4. 27 declares, don't give place to the devil. Do not give place to the devil. Okay? So if you've given place to the devil, then go ask yourself where, when, what, and how. The angel do not sin. That's right. Do not, and thank you, Pastor Mike preached that yesterday. I'm that, Because you said that, I'm going to say this. Pastor Mike said yesterday, that how many of us, we go to bed angry. The Bible says, be angry yet, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. So here's what we do, all of us. We go to bed angry, and when we wake up in the morning, we don't repent. So because we don't repent, Satan's continuing to build that stronghold. Yeah. You see, he's putting another brick in that stronghold. You know, and so thank you because I wanted to tell y'all that and I almost forgot. So there you go. So that's one way that we're all guilty of giving place to the devil. We go to bed angry, we forget about it, we don't forgive and release and bless whoever made us angry. Before we go to bed, we don't repent to God, tell them we're sorry, we wake up, and it's another day and we think, God's grace and mercy is new for me today. Well, yes it is. But you still was bad angry. You broke the law, and you need to repent. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, God bless you. Okay. So, is your soul in bondage? Is your mind, your will, and your emotions in bondage? Is your body, your five senses, in bondage? Remember, your spirit is not in bondage. The bondage is going to be in your soul and in your body, in yeah. your flesh, okay? And the body and the soul has to bow the knee to the spirit, right. amen? amen? Spirit man yoked up with spirit God. Divine alignment, Holy Ghost alignment for our Holy Ghost assignment, amen? amen. All right. That's so good. Holy oh, Ghost Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, divine alignment with God. We have Holy Ghost alignment for our Holy Ghost assignment. And the only reason that any of us were in bondage is because that is our calling to be deliverers. But the deliverer was first bound. Why? So that he would have the compassion mm. to be That's able to right. go out there and set the captives free. Mm. Because if, if you're not in bondage, whatever, mm. everything that I was in bondage to, mm. when I see somebody mm. and they're always walking around and mm. they're depressed, oh, yeah. it makes me angry because Amen. I have a spirit of heaviness Amen. and evil forebodings, Amen. a black cloud over me my whole life. Yeah. So when I see it, it makes me mad yeah. and I just tell them, don't you know that the joy of the Lord is your spirit? is your strength, yeah. and in His presence is the fullness of joy. Yeah. You need to go praise and worship God. He yes. gives you the glory of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Mm. Don't you know this? Break this thing off of yourself in Jesus' name. But if they don't know, how will they know unless, we sit, unless we're sent? Amen. How will they know unless Amen. we preach it to them? Can I get a witness? Well, we have to be first partakers of this fruit to be able to set them free, because that's how we get the compassion. Amen? When I see somebody bound by addiction walking around with slits in their eyes, man, I cry for them because I know that feeling. I know that pain. I know that escape. When people escape, it's because there's pain inside and there's roots in there that got to be uprooted. Can I get a witness? Amen? Amen? So let me not get off the track. Did you I, say God gives us a garment of praise for our spirit of heaven? Absolutely. Oh, yes. You overcome evil with good. You praise to dislodge heaviness. Amen? Amen. God gave, gives us the glory to pray. So if you wake up and you're feeling down and blue, bless the Lord. Yeah. 